Atlantoaxial instability, or AA instability, refers to a dislocation between the first two bones in the neck. AA instability is most common in young, small breed or toy dogs such as Yorkshire Terriers, Maltese, toy poodles, and Chihuahuas. Symptoms are related to the spinal cord of the neck and can include neck pain, difficulty walking in all four limbs, inability to use the limbs, or even difficulty breathing. Diagnosis is via MRI. Surgery is typically the treatment of choice. The neck is made up of seven bones. The first bone is called the atlas and the second called the axis. The atlas is characterized by large transverse processes or wings. The axis is characterized by short transverse processes, a large dorsal spinous process, and a prominence at the cranial aspect called the dens. The spinal cord runs through the vertebral canal. These two bones are normally held together through soft tissue structures called ligaments. AA instability occurs most frequently in young, small, or toy breed dogs. We see it most commonly in breeds such as the Yorkie, Maltese, Chihuahua, and Toy Poodle. Most dogs are under a year of age when it's diagnosed, but we occasionally diagnose it later in life. In these breeds, the dens may be misshapen or absent. This leads to instability between the bones. When the bones come out of alignment, the spinal cord of the neck may be compressed. This can cause symptoms such as neck pain, holding the head low, weakness in all four limbs, or inability to walk. AA instability can be suspected based on age, breed, and symptoms, but tests are needed to be sure. Radiographs or x-rays are a good screening tool. They are inexpensive and do not require anesthesia. Sometimes sedation is needed. X-rays can sometimes show the instability and misalignment or subluxation between C1 and C2. X-rays typically do not show all of the information needed, so other tests are required. An MRI is typically the best way to evaluate the spinal cord and diagnose AA instability. It gives information about many of the other causes that can look like AA instability, including meningitis, other malformations, infections, inflammation, and slipped discs. If the MRI shows AA instability, and if surgery is to be considered, a CAT scan is often performed at the same time as the MRI to evaluate the bones and plan for surgery. Sometimes a CAT scan is performed later, depending on the pet's age at the time of the MRI. In general, there are two ways to treat AA instability. The preferred treatment involves surgery to realign C1 and C2 and stabilize the bones. Realigning the bones relieves the pressure on the spinal cord. Stabilizing the bones prevents further injury to the spinal cord. The type of surgery performed at 7 involves placing small orthopedic screws into C1 and C2, removing the articular cartilage between C1 and C2, placing a bone graft, then fusing the bones with bone cement. In patients that surgery is not possible, or if surgery is to be delayed to allow the pet to grow and mature, a neck brace can be placed. The brace is placed to decrease the amount of movement of the neck to avoid further injury. The brace is maintained for several weeks to months and will need to be monitored closely and changed at routine intervals. Strict immobilization with the crate is needed for three to five months. For young, toy breed dogs with congenital AA instability, the prognosis is very good. The success rate is greater than 90% for long-term resolution of signs. Surgery carries the risks of anesthesia, infection, and implant failure. Implants can become infected, break, or migrate out of the bone. For dogs that are treated with a bandage, about 50% of them have a recurrence of symptoms within the first year. Neck braces carry the risk of recurrence, getting worse, skin infections and abrasions, and becoming too tight or restricting breathing. In summary, AA instability is most common in small and toy breed dogs. Symptoms are most often related to the spinal cord of the neck, including pain and difficulty walking in all four limbs. Diagnosis typically requires an MRI, and surgery usually carries the best long-term outcome. 
If you are concerned that your pet is showing symptoms of AA instability, please call one of our caring expert neurologists. We're here to help.